The following information comes from the essay titled Climate Change Summary at GuyMcPherson.com. It was last updated August 2nd, 2016. This video summarizes self-reinforcing feedback loop number 22 in the essay with a focus on peer-reviewed papers and assessments from national-level governments. Remember, it only takes one feedback loop to ensure the irreversibility of climate change. Drought-induced mortality of trees contributes to increased decomposition of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and decreased sequestration of atmospheric carbon dioxide. Such mortality has been documented throughout the world since at least November 9, 2000 in Nature. With recent summaries in the February 6, 2013 issue of Nature for the Tropics, the August 2, 2013 issue of Frontiers in Plant Science for Temperate North America, and the August 21st, 2015 issue of Science for Boreal Forests. The situation is exacerbated by pests and disease, as trees stressed by altered environmental conditions become increasingly susceptible to agents such as bark beetles and mistletoe. Additional examples abound. One extremely important example of this phenomenon is occurring in the Amazon, where drought in 2010 led to the release of more carbon than the United States that year, according to a paper in the February 4, 2011 issue of Science. The calculation used in this paper badly underestimates the carbon release, according to the May 28, 2014 issue of Global Change Biology. In addition, ongoing deforestation in the region is driving declines in precipitation at a rate much faster than long thought as reported in the July 19, 2013 issue of Geophysical Research Letters. An overview of the phenomenon focused on the Amazon was provided by Climate News Network on March 5, 2014. Also, quote, the observed decline of the Amazon sink diverges markedly from the recent increase in terrestrial carbon uptake at the global scale and is contrary to expectations based on models, end quote according to a paper in the March 19, 2015 issue of Nature. Finally, according to a paper in the July 1, 2016 issue of Global Geo Biogeochemical Cycles, the 2010 drought completely shut down the Amazon basin's carbon sink by killing trees and slowing their growth. Tropical rainforests, long believed to represent the primary driver of atmospheric carbon dioxide, are on the verge of giving up that role. According to a May 21, 2014 paper published in Nature, quote, the higher turnover rates of carbon pools in semi-arid biomes are an increasingly important driver of global carbon cycle interannual variability, end quote, indicating the emerging role of dry lands in controlling environmental conditions. Quote, because of the deforestation of tropical rainforests in Brazil, significantly more carbon has been lost than was previously assumed. End quote. In fact, quote, forest fragmentation results in up to a fifth more carbon dioxide being emitted by the vegetation. End quote. These latter results come from the October 7, 2014 issue of Nature Communications. A paper in the December 28, 2015 online issue of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences indicates Amazon forest could transition to savanna-like states in response to climate change. Savannas are simply described as grasslands with scattered trees or shrubs. The abstract of the paper in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences indicates that, quote, in contrast to existing predictions of either stability or catastrophic biomass loss, the Amazon forest's response to a drying regional climate is likely to be an immediate graded heterogeneous transition from high biomass rainforests to transitional dry forests and woody savanna-like states." End quote. Increasing drought threatens almost all forests in the United States, according to a paper in the February 21, 2016 online issue of Global Change Biology. According to the paper's abstract, quote, diebacks, changes in composition and structure, and shifting range limits are widely observed, end quote. For the first time, scientists have investigated the net balance of the three major greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide, for every region of Earth's land masses. The results were published in the March 10, 2016 issue of Nature. The surprising result? 
human-induced emissions of methane and nitrous oxide from ecosystems overwhelmingly surpass the ability of the land to soak up carbon dioxide emissions, which makes the terrestrial biosphere a contributor to climate change. An abstract of a paper to be published in the April 2016 issue of Biogeochemistry includes these lines, quote, Rising temperatures and nitrogen deposition, both aspects of global environmental change, are proposed to alter soil organic matter, biogeochemistry. Overall, this study shows that the decomposition and accumulation of molecularly distinct SOM components, that's soil organic matter components, occurs with soil warming and nitrogen amendment and may subsequently alter soil biogeochemical cycling, end quote. In other words, as global temperatures rise, the organic matter in forests appears to break down more quickly, thereby accelerating the release of carbon into the atmosphere. 